how to do y'all this is john and today we are talking about 65 a new movie on theaters right now and in 65 it deals with an astronaut who suddenly finds himself on earth just days before the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs hits and now he has to get off the earth with this little girl who is the only other survivor in the spaceship crash okay so getting into it first and foremost what I liked about the movie. I do like Adam Driver in this movie and the interaction between him and this little girl is really entertaining. It gets a little complicated with these two because the little girl doesn't know English but what sort of back and forth these two can do can get very entertaining and there is quite a bit of character development between these two. It's almost like this father-daughter kind of relationship between them. And to be quite honest, I also really liked the concept of the movie because this astronaut, he's not familiar with this world. He's not familiar with Earth, with what is on Earth at this point in time, 65 million years ago. He's encountering these dangerous animals left and right. And they're all stuff that he has no experience dealing with. However, despite a decent idea, the overall execution of the narrative, a lot of things have been done before. If you've read The Land That Time for God, you've bas you basically know where this movie's going to go. Or if you've at least seen the cheesy Doug McClure movie, you know where this movie's gonna go. It's basically the same premise. Guy gets trapped on this in this world. He has no experience and and disasters waiting. And almost every story beat with mo other movies and stuff with this kind of concept is utilized in this film which makes things pretty disappointing, especially coming from the writers of A Quiet Place. And unlike in the A Quiet Place, there's actually very little tension going on in the film. And that's because you know how this is going to go down. And that's because you know how this is going to go down. Because like I said, everything that this movie does has been done before and you predict that. Guys, in the end, 65 is a good idea and I like the main character and the actor playing him, but what bogs the movie down is its overall unoriginality. It is basically, again, if you have read The Land That Time Forgot or seen the Doug McClure movie, you know how this is going to go down. And all in all, with that and its lack of tension, I just couldn't really enjoy the film. I'm going to give 65 a 4. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, please remember, the Bredetsky will return.